Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you the concept of admin units in Microsoft Purview. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, I'm going to navigate to uh, Microsoft Purview, obviously uh, the Microsoft 365 uh, Compliance Center. Uh, this is where you can set up uh, retention policies, you know, document loss prevention policies, uh, among uh, many other things. Um, Let's say we are trying to set up uh, a retention policy, all right, and apply uh, the retention policy to some sites. Now, let me show you what the typical, um, you know, experience is like. So, let's say I'm going to set up um, some sample policy, all right, and when you click next, um, literally one of the first questions um, that you have been asked is to define the policy scope. Uh, and you have to choose admin units. You actually don't have to choose admin units, um, but let me explain to you what this is all about. Um, so by default, when uh, you create, let's say a retention policy and I am a compliance you know, manager, uh, for example, for the organization, I pretty much have uh, you know every site, every group in my possession, if you will, and I can manage um, you know retention policies for those. But let's say you are part of a large organization, uh, you know global organization, and you have offices you know all over the world, and you want maybe users from US to manage you know their the US um, you know groups and sites, and the uh, you know the admins from uh, Canada, for example or European Union, right, to manage their own. Uh, so uh, let, let me just, you know, uh, carry it through just to show you. So by default, uh, without any admin units in place, essentially um, I can apply retention policies um, to the whole tenant, if you will, to all the sites. Uh, and different accounts, right? Uh, groups and different accounts. Now, uh, again, uh, in my scenario I just described, I uh, really would like maybe each, um, you know, office, each uh, region to be responsible for their own sites. I don't want somebody from European Union, for example, right, to, um, you know, to, to mess with uh, retention policies for US-based sites because of different uh, regulations. So this is where admin units come into play. And essential admin units allow you to uh, assign what administrators from different uh, locations, different regions can or cannot do. You know, essentially you define the scope. Now there are a few pieces, you know, a few steps involved. I'll uh, describe the process at a very high level, uh, but essentially the admin units are set up uh, in uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Entra ID. So we have to navigate there. So that's kind of the first step. So let's uh, navigate to the admin center first. So that's kind of step number one. Uh, let me uh, click here. And um, under, I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, under, uh, let me see, I think we're missing some roles on admins right here. All right, so lots of options, but uh, under roles and admins, we have uh, admin units, and I already have, um, you know, defined a few, uh, a few units. But uh, let me just carry you through the process. Um, so let's say I need to add a, a new one, and let's just say we need to add one for our uh, friend's um, office, and you literally just, you know, click uh, create. Um, you know, a lot of these options apply to um, admin management within Enter ID. We're not going to worry about it because we are really after Microsoft Purview. So uh, I'm going to just, you know, create just like that. And once you create an admin unit, this is where you define the scope. So this is where, for example, you can add users that um, this admin unit can uh, manage. Uh, all right, or groups and so on. Now, uh, yeah, it's really, really easy to do. You just literally, um, you just re really uh, just add it from, you know, with the groups you have available. I already defined them, so just let me show you. Uh, here we go, I have one for Canada. And as you can see, essentially for Canada Office, I said, you know, you can only manage those two groups. Essentially, that's the scope of those uh, two sites, two uh, groups that uh, exist. Uh, these are the only ones you can manage. So that's kind of step number one, 
All right, so the admin units uh, are defined within a Microsoft uh, Android ID. Uh, the next few steps occur in uh, Purview. So I'm back in Purview. Uh, let me just cancel out uh, of here. So the next thing you have to do, we need to tie the users, the admins to those groups, right? We defined, you know, a, a group, let's say for Canada, but now we, um, you know, we, we need to assign the users uh, to uh, essentially uh, to those um, uh, uh, you know, to, to those groups. So uh, let me see. And uh, you have to navigate to settings under roles uh, and scopes. Uh, you have to click on role groups. All right. And this is where you can assign a user to a particular group. Let me just say, for example, I'm going to choose this uh, compliance administrator group. Uh, and um, you know, this is where I can say, I want, you know, John, uh, who is located in Canada to, you know, manage um, the, you know, the, the Canadian, uh, you know, groups. So I added John, but now I have to assign an admin unit, all right? So you see how this works? Uh, you first add the users, and then you have to assign them admin units. So essentially, I'm giving John that a compliance administrator role, but again, when I click on assign admin units, uh, I am only going to choose a particular admin unit. I'm going to choose the Canada admin unit. And uh, remember, the Canada admin unit contains this two sites. So essentially, what I'm saying is that, John, you know, you can do whatever you want in terms of, you know, compliance and setting up policies, but you can only do it for Canada uh, admin unit. And essentially, that includes uh, only those two sites. Hopefully uh, that makes sense. And um, yeah, I'm going to do just that. And um, yeah, you just uh, click uh, next and you know save. And essentially it saves, um, I, I, you know, I now type the user to the group. Let me show you the final step. Uh, that's kind of the most, uh, I guess, exciting uh, step. We'll see it in action. So uh, I'm going to be once again um, at Microsoft Purview. All right, and uh, screen, and uh, let's say I'm going to create uh, a new uh, a retention policy. So um, essentially, yeah, we'll just say new retention policy, just like that. I'm not going to log in as John, by the way, um, just to um, you know demonstrate this, but uh, I'm still logged in under my user ID. So uh, on this step right here, I'm not going to ignore it this time. I'm going to actually associate an admin unit. And I'm going uh, to choose one of the uh, admin units I have, uh, just like that. All right, that Canada, remember it contains these two sites. And click Next. Let's do the static uh, one for now. And now, for example, uh, again, by default, remember, there are only two sites, but essentially, let's just say I want to exclude, you know, one of them. All right. Uh, so let's just click edit. But look at this. Essentially, it uh, pulls up. And remember, it doesn't, I have like hundreds of sites in my tenant, but it only pulled uh, those two. Why? Because they're part of that admin unit, you see? So uh, essentially, let's just say I don't want this, um, uh, you know, site uh, to be included in the uh, retention policy. All right. So essentially, the scope here, the scope here for us here is not the whole, you know, tenant and you know, hundreds of sites. Because remember, I chose that particular admin unit. Uh, within that admin unit, we only have two groups that the user can, you know, the admin can manage. Uh, so as a result, these are the only two uh, essentially uh, that potential retention policies can be manipulated on. All right. And, and at that point, once you do that, um, you just click next. Uh, I guess we have uh, uh, some sort of arrow here, but uh, essentially at that point, uh, you uh, pretty much, yeah, uh, just finalize your policy uh, and, you know, uh, and essentially, yeah, it will be applied uh, to the sites, uh, you know, chosen. But that's pretty much uh, the um, admin units um, 
um, you know, overview at a high level. Again, the first steps, uh, step occurs within the Entra ID. That's where you kind of define, uh, you know, create the admin unit and define the scope of it, right? The, uh, the groups, the users, devices, this particular admin unit can manage. And then you, you know, the rest pretty much occurs uh, within the, uh, within the uh, Microsoft purview, all right? So uh, that's all I really wanted to um, share in this uh, quick video. Hopefully uh, you found it useful. As always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.